All right, what's up, guys? We're back with another one here. For this one, I just want to ramble a little bit because we got, you know, we just finally have found out when it's coming. The fabled Guilty Gear Strive balance patch. We've been hearing about this since summertime, since EVO, but it's been a long time coming. You know, we knew that the winter patch was coming. We finally, in the newest developer's backyard, there it is right there. So December 2022, uh, it doesn't have an exact date on here, but it said mid-December, the battle balance patch is coming uh, alongside, you know, crossplay, which is huge. And also the network, we can skip the tower floor, which is great. But yeah, the big update's coming probably two or three weeks. So today I just want to talk about what do I want to see? And not just what I want to see, I want to just hear what you guys want to see too. So, you know, if you're watching, leave a comment, share your thoughts, hit that subscribe button too while you're at it. But let me know, what do you guys want to see? What are you looking forward to? What direction do you want to see Strive go? So first of all, before we get into it, I know a lot of people are saying, I know a lot of people are saying stuff like, oh, I want, give me instant kills. Give me like more Gatlings and stuff. And like, I agree with that, but that's not happening in December. I made I made a different video. There he is. But yeah, I, I, I translated this article. There's another video talking about it. But in that article, they said that for season two, Season two, they're not planning to really add anything to the game. They're not really going crazy. They, they said it's going to happen in like three. So like season two, their their statement was, our goal with season two is just to refine the game and prepare for the future. So like the big stuff that you guys are asking for, you like new special moves, instant kills, you know, Gatlings, whatever you want back, that's not happening. We're just talking about the balance right now. So what do you want to see? Uh, what I want to see, I, we should make another video to talk about this, but there's a very common saying that I, I get from Stream Monsters all the time. Uh, I feel like it's it's thanks to one man. Where's that man? There he is. Gerald from Core A Gaming. He made the most damaging video of all time. This one right here, the original sin. He set everybody off. Now it's a great video. All, all of his videos are amazing, but people definitely took that video completely wrong. So, you know, it says right there, buffs are better than nerfs. I agree, but what so many people, what so many Stream Monsters took from that video is never nerf. Don't nerf, only buff. I've heard that a thousand plus times. I've seen that a thousand plus times. No nerfs, only buffs. No nerfs, only buffs. Shut the hell up. You absolutely need to nerf character, without a doubt. So what I want to see in this balance patch, I want to see nerfs, baby. As a Ram player, I play Ram. I want her nerf. She's so clearly, whenever like the DLC characters come out, right? So since all the DLC characters come out, they look cool. I want to try them. You know, I mess around with them for a bit and then just, I'm like, you know, this is cool, but I got Ram. Why would I play this character when I have Ram? You know, same thing, Nago. Nago's ridiculous, dude. Happy Chaos, that character takes some work. You know, he's a bit, he's a bit sweaty, but again, it's just so cheap, right? So all these new characters come out and the first question is like, are they, are they valid, right? Can they hang with the big three? Can they hang with the big three? Can they hang with the top tier? Yes or no. If it's no, it's like, all right, forget about it. It's a wasted slot. So like, like I'm saying, like you can nerf my character. Go ahead. Just nerf all of them. Tone down the top. I'm not saying you got to completely neutralize them, but they need to be properly toned down because since a game has been released, they have been, nerfed. you know, Naga's been nerfed. What? He got buffed a lot too, but he also got like nerfed two or three times. I think Ram got nerfed like three times. Heavy Chaos got nerfed one time, but this is Arxis nerfing. So Arxis doesn't nerf characters down. They nerf them sideways. The great example, Johnny. So not just Johnny, but also like Elfelt. In Exer, these characters got nerfed. It's not like the final version of, of Guild Gear came out and Johnny was top tier. He was top tier from day one. They nerfed his ass like five or six times. He's still top tier. The way Arxis does it is like they nerf one thing and they give you something else. And so then in the end, it's just like, oh, I'm still the same character. I'm still, I'm still that character. So I, I want, I want the big three to get properly, get, get properly hit. Uh, I, I'm about it. Buffs are better than nerfs. Yeah, I agree, but sometimes you got to nerf. You got, you got it. You got to nerf. So go for it. Go for it. Give them a nerf. Not just that. So I don't, I don't just want like characters nerfed. I want the whole game nerfed. So they made this in that article I talked about earlier. Uh, there's this quote right here from Cottonol, right? So they talked about the balance. They talked about how they they designed Strive to be a game for new players to pick up, really easy to pick up, but at high level, players that put in the time are rewarded, that they, that they win more right here. So let's read this quote real quick. I feel it'd be good to balance the game to make sure that the strong players place well in large scale events. So he, he's saying like no more randomness, right? Uh, so you want the top players to continue finishing in the top spots in big tournaments? Like I personally feel like we should reward the strong and hardworking players, right? You know, it's a very like Japanese like way of like putting things but he's basically like no more randoms i'm tired of players getting random out he's like i want the the better player to win more often right because that that is a complaint right now and what is the factor that leads to that randomness in strive it's i it to me you know obviously has an opinion but to me is the damage the damage is ridiculous it, it is it is absolutely 
insane. Now, I know Strive is supposed to be a high damage game. I'm not saying like lower the damage down to like old Guilty Gear levels, but I'd be very, very happy if there was a, a full, like across the board damage nerf. Maybe like a 10% damage nerf or with the risk, maybe doing something with risk. Because right now too, if your risk goes up just like the tiniest, tiniest bit, it's not even like a full cranked out risk gauge. Just the tiniest, tiniest bit of risk, just boom, you explode right there. So I feel like a little bit of overall damage reduction across the board would help him get his goal right here of you, the strong and hardworking players would have less difficulty dealing with that dude with the coffin, bonk with the one swing and just taking over right there. But yeah, that, that's something I wanna see, I wanna see for everybody. As for the rest of this patch, that's up to you guys. So I feel like the last, I feel like all the patches up until now have been quite good. You know, the last patch we had the, uh, you know, the counter hit change on the lights was very good. The dash cancel was really fun. You know, they're adding more mechanics that they're gonna fine tune as well. Each individual character was a really big change. Each individual character got a lot of new stuff. Most, most characters won. There are a couple characters that took some L's that didn't get as much as the other characters. So I would like to see something big like that again, especially because there's not, when was that patch? It was June. It was June. Okay. That's almost half a year. So if you're going to do balance updates like twice a year, which is a great, I feel like that is a great, what's it called? Frequency. Twice a year is great. You know, some games do way too much. The Gramble, I mean, Gramble was doing like once a month. It was terrible. But if you're going to do it like two updates a year, make them count, you know, make them big. I'm not saying like, you don't like, we talked about, I don't need you to add everything. I don't need you to add like instant kills. Give me all like all these other modes, but even with what you have, make this something significant, something big, right? I, I don't want to go through every single character, you know, because you guys know, you guys know best, but I want overall, I would like to see a big damage, not a big damage, but overall damage there for the entire cast. The top, get hit, hit them, hit them properly. Hit them, hit them, hit them. Give, give us a reason to play some other characters. And then, uh, you know, mi mix things up with the rest. We'll, we'll see right there. But uh, yeah, let me know. Like I said, this is not, I want to hear everybody's opinion, especially if you play a character, you know, if you play a character, if you're an expert, like what do you think your character needs? And don't be like, oh, I, I need unblock. I'll give my character unblockables. Give my character 100% combos. Like what, what actual like pain points do you have with your characters? I know a lot of the DLC, a lot of the recent DLC, like Bridget, Testament, Sin, they are missing some, like people are saying, oh, they're like beta. They're still in beta, right? So some things don't work, blah, blah, blah. Get specific. What do you think needs to get changed? For Ram, she needs no buffs. What would I nerf with Ram? Bro, I don't, what don't you nerf with that character, huh? No more Rekka cancel. But the Rekka cancel, that's, that's the fun part of her. That, that That's like the technical part of her. Maybe make it so she can't break the wall from like anywhere on screen. That's kind of cheap. Also, like damage, she, if the cast gets a 10% damage nerf, give her like a 20, 20. Get, make her even like weaker kind of thing. It could be fair. But anyway, that's it. Uh, like I said, share your thoughts, share your comments. I want to hear what you guys got to think. And only in, in like two weeks or so, two and a half weeks, we'll finally have the update, whether we're in for another six, seven months of just Nago and Ram and Happy Chaos murdering everybody, or we're gonna see the meta shake up. Only time will tell, I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, if you're still watching, thank you. Leave a comment on good stuff, and I'll see you next one. Peace.